is not holding you. That is not holding you. I don't have time to hold you, honey. Look at the big boy technique. Get your shirt off. Taking their clothes off by themselves. Lots of encouragement. Got it. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> this is very encouraging to see. How's that bagel? Breakfast at 9.30. That's too late. It's almost snack time, you guys. I gotta get Molly. An hour later, now you're giving him a snack? Daddy, make you take the mess. Yeah, I know. This is supposed to be a snack. You guys aren't eating, aren't eating too much. What's wrong? You're not hungry today? The children aren't even playing. All they're doing is eating. You're filling them up again. New cracker. There's too much food going on here. The kids are playing. They got another 25 minutes of playing. For lunch. They haven't stopped eating all morning. Listen to me. Once Joseph knocks the ice down, it's your turn. Once John knocks the piece down, it's Joseph's turn, okay? So you're not supposed to knock the man down. Oh, this is nice to see. The boys are playing the game. You knock it down, then it's John's turn. You didn't knock it down yet, John. It's Joseph's turn still. So. Now let's see them take turns. Okay, Joseph's turn. John, John, oh John, you ruined it for Joseph. Mommy Amanda. Look at me. If you do it again and you don't take turns, Mommy's gonna put the game away. You can't take the game away from them both. Joseph was playing nicely. It's not fair. <laughs> Listen to me. You hurt your sister. You are sitting here. Do not get up and do not move this chair. Do you understand me? I know you told him. Walk away. Get out with what you've got to do. Sit down. She didn't break it. Sit down, John. All right, I'm calling a super nanny. I'm calling her. I'm going to tell her you're not sitting. I can't believe you're calling for me. You should be doing this yourself. Don't think because I'm preoccupied right now that you're not going back. So I need to show you more. You're not being consistent. Coming up, on. Hello. process for the Bennett family and the best part of that step is the DVD process. I've got some footage that I'd love you guys to have a look at so follow me through let's take a look. Daddy's not holding you. Daddy is not holding you. There you go. Good boy. This is good. The big boy technique. So hats off to the pair of you in allowing them to be independent but also so they're not attached to you 24-7. So well done. Let's carry on and see more. Joseph, you want some strawberries? It's just supposed to be a snack. You guys aren't eating too much. What's wrong? You're not hungry today? No! Can't really blame Michael, to be honest with you. He's probably stuffed. He's had breakfast. He's now he's had a snack. But he's like, oh, I'm just a bit too bloated here. Put it on the floor. Can't blame the poor fella. Question mark why the schedule's running late. That schedule is important to the pair of you and your children. But if for some reason those children were not on schedule, common sense would say that if they're up late and they've had breakfast, skip out that snack. And the quantities here are too big. Okay. Once Joseph knocks the ice down, it's your turn. Once John knocks the piece down, it's Joseph's turn. John, look at me. If you do it again and you don't take turns, Mommy's going to put the game away. Poor Joseph, Mom. You started off perfectly there. You explained the rules of the game, said they had to take turns, and then John decides he's going to just, like, completely wreck the whole thing. And Mom's going to take the whole game away because of it. You could have sat down with him, but don't treat him the same or discipline the pair of them for one child's behaviour. <laughs> Listen to me. Do not get up and do not move this chair. Do you understand me? John. Sit down. <laughs> All right, I'm calling a super nanny. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You're never going to get your son to sit on that chair. Don't pass the buck. Here again, Joe. A little bit of anxiety there about him getting off and you having to place him back on again. John and Joseph are always going to test you guys. So if they continue to get off the chair, you place them back and say nothing. 
That way, the child knows that every time they think about attempting to get off the chair, they're going to have to go back. And that is a circle that you need to break. So today, let's tweak all the stuff we've seen here. I will be working with you throughout the day on making that happen for the pair of you. All right? Let's get busy. Watching a DVD today with Joe was an eye-opener. Some of the things that Joe has told us I've never known before. We're just going to have to work at it and uh, take one day at a time. We'll have to look at it that way. Baby steps.